guys, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com, and today is November 16th, 2013. You're taking a look at the MHTAlerts.com site, where we're on condition green, all clear for earthquakes, space weather, and tropical weather. I'm going to go through all three of them for you as an update, as a major update, so I can uh, address a couple of things. Uh, right now, the storm system in the eastern Pacific has dropped down to a 20%, and looks like it's going to be non-favorable for further development then that means basically it's going to continue to drop down from 20% all the way to a zero probably in the next couple of days uh, as upper level winds continue to bombard the uh, the area of low pressure. So taking a look, we also have a storm system here in the Atlantic, which is on the National Hurricane Center right here. It says a non-tropical low. That's what it is. Non-tropical low, so it's definitely not something that is um, promising, but it looks like it is gradually developing and it is possible to continue to develop into a tropical cyclone, but nonetheless it looks like it's moving away north, away from the United States, so there is no threat to us here uh, for that. Now it looks like it's going to continue to diminish as far as the percentage goes. Taking a look at the earthquake activity folks, we've had a, quite a bit of earthquake activity in the Scotia Sea. That's uh, something I'm watching very close, something that concerns me because before the big 7.4 earthquake that was dropped down to a 6.8, there was an actual 6.2 earthquake that occurred before the larger earthquake. So that it's something that I always watch, especially in Japan. But this is a very, very unique location for earthquakes to occur in the Scotia Sea near the South Pole. So that's something I'll be watching for you folks over the next month, probably, just to keep watch. Now, I might uh, change the site to condition yellow again just specifically for that uh, particular area so going uh, into that I just wanted to talk about also space weather this again is a three-parter so space weather we got a 60 percent chance of seeing some x-class flares over the next five days and a 15 percent chance of seeing some x-class solar activity in the next couple of days taking a look at the actual Sun we see the sunspots that are listed here by number and right now there is a growing sunspot right here, which we may have to watch for very close as you see the pointer um, or mouse. And 1899, I'm watching real close as it continues to move closer to Earth. And 1897, 1895, possible C-class flares. 1896, 1900, continuing to watch that. But it looks like it's away from Earth for any Earth direct contact, but possibly a glancing blows. Now, that's something I'll continue to watch for you over the next couple of days. Keep watching, though, this side of the sun. We'll be watching this side of the sun for any emerging sunspots that will continue to come into uh, our viewing area, if you will. So, once again, folks, that's something you can check out. You can check out the uh, latest information on the CME analysis here on solarham.net. They got all the information where you see that we are going to be impacted here soon as well. I will continue to keep you posted and updated, but there's not... A major uh, event. So once again, folks, I want to. Hopefully, you like this uh, particular type of video. We're all in one. Uh, if you like it, comment. Let me know. I'll continue to do the all-in-one videos for you instead of separating them. I'll just give you more information all at one time. Once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for watching. Continue to stay alert on this information. Now, <clears throat> I switched over to Earthquake 3D here, so you can see the latest earthquake activity. Right now, I've got it down to a couple of days, and you see the United States is continuing to see earthquake activity uh, over the past couple of days. Now, that's something very unusual, so I'll continue to keep watch, especially around the Ring of Fire. I'm watching very close Alaska, and I'll show you why. If I bring down the actual dates to seven days with the earthquake activity down to zero, you will see a ton of earthquake activity underwater and around Alaska. So I'll continue to keep you posted. Japan needs to be watched very close. There's been some earthquake activity there as well. Taiwan, seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity. Now, what I'm really worried about right now, folks, is Sumatra, Indonesia, all around this area right here, because of there, there looks like there is a, a break in the earthquake activity. So we'll keep watch on that over the next couple of days. Uh, share the video, post it. I mean, I'm not doing any ads anymore, so share it, post it anywhere you want. Just keep people informed as to what's going on. So taking a look at uh, northern Australia, you see some earthquake activity. Not as much as we normally would, but this particular line, if you will, or fault line, is kind of like a, a big 
energy bomb. And this energy bomb here, when it goes off and it starts uh, spreading earthquakes around this particular area, we start to see larger earthquakes in Indonesia and even into New Zealand all the way down. So it is mainly in Indonesia that we're worried about constantly every year. So I'll continue to be updated and posted if any earthquakes do occur. I'll try my best to update you. Uh, but again, that's just something if I'm available to do the earthquake update. Now we're seeing a lot of earthquake activity here in one central part of uh, South America right here. I'll continue to watch that as well. But here is the Scotia Sea earthquake here, and you'll see here's the South Pole. Um, what I'm actually worried about is this particular region right here, again, started with a 6.2 and then went from a 6.2 to a 7.4 earthquake, which was, again, dropped down by the USGS uh, to a 6.8. We might as well have just left it at 6.4 for crying out loud. So just take a look at that, folks. Uh, continue to be watching it on Earthquake 3D if you have the program. It's a very nice program. It actually keeps you track of what's happening live by the USGS. So once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hopefully this was informative. Hopefully you uh, share it, post it, do whatever it is, post it on Facebook. Again, there's going to be no more ads here on the MHT Alerts YouTube channel. And, of course, no paid subscriptions. Once again, thanks everybody for watching. Stay alert, be cool, and have a nice day.